Okay, so we're ready to record in Screencastify right now. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a presentation here that I've been working on. Uh, this is my news presentation for the Pax Romana Ancient Rome class. And what I'm gonna do is first thing, I'm going to go here to the present. I'm gonna click the drop down arrow beside the, where it says present and I'm gonna to go to presenter view. That's gonna allow you to see your uh, presenter view. It opens up this window here. Uh, that says presenter view, um, and I'm going to click on speaker notes in that. That way, any pages that I have that I have speaker notes on, my new script, I can see those, and I can see in another window over here, this is my presentation. Now, what's going to happen is I'm just going to click over here on the presentation for a second, and I'm going to start Screencastify here. So I'm going to click Screencastify. It should pop up. And what we're going to do is we're going to record a tab. So make sure you set tab. We're going to set the microphone that we're going to record. Uh, you can click the drop down. I have several microphones on my computer, so I'm setting my, my default uh, microphone. I'm going to set my webcam. It probably comes up uh, blank. And then I'm going to click this checkbox here to embed my webcam. I'm going to turn off my microphone just because I'm recording through another program so I can show you how to use Screencastify. So I'm going to click Record tab. When I do that, it's going to pop up in recording mode. I get a countdown, three, two, one. You see I just popped up there. Now the question is, where's my script? Well, my script is in another window, so I'm going to use uh, the Alt-Tab key to switch around. Actually, I'm not going to use Alt-Tab. I'm just going to click down here and go pull up my presenter view. So it is still recording, and I can use my arrow keys to go through my presentation. So the first thing we want to make sure you do is don't do death by PowerPoint. You should not have all of these words like this on the screen at one time. Nobody's going to be able to read that in the time that you have. And the thing to remember is that you are your presentation. So you are the vital part. You can notice here, I've got my speaker notes. This is what you're supposed to be saying. You can see your speaker notes. You're reading what you're talking about there. And keep the presentation on the screen simple. A few words to highlight things, to make a title, and then a representative image that you're gonna talk about. You can use the arrow keys, left and right arrows or up and down arrows. If you have that slide that's got that death by PowerPoint, what you need to do is just take all of that text and click on it, put it down in the speaker notes. You can uh, cut and paste down there. And then when you're doing your presentation, people are only going to see the screen that you're looking at. So remember that in your news presentation, you need to talk about who, what, where, why, and when on your slide, but most importantly, keep in mind that you are your presentation. Now, when you're done with your presentation, when you're done producing it, uh, if you go back up here to your Screencastify, click there, and click Stop, that will then save your recording, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna pop up in another tab, gives you a little bit of information on your Screencastify presentation. It does come up with this news, uh, with this logo in there because we're using the free version. And you can see it'll go through and play through there. And in just a few minutes, it is stored on your Google Drive. Uh, if you want to copy the link, you can then copy the link and then go to your Google Classroom and turn in your video. And that's it.